I'm Nintendo. And I'm Sega. This is Console War! Hey guys, sorry to frighten you before. I was merely clearing out my throat. I just wanted to be in your Jurassic Park video. Why would a dragon want to be in a Jurassic Park video? I'm not a dragon. I'm a dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur are you? I'm a raptor. You don't look like a raptor with the horns and being red. Yeah, I had some work done after the success of the movie. You were in the movie? Nah, but my cousin was in the movie, and I mooched off him. Oh, well, I guess it would be good to have a real dinosaur's input on this. Why don't you have a seat on the couch? No thanks. I have no reason to question that. Jurassic Park. It started out as a novel about genetically recreated dinosaurs and the dangers it would ensue. Jurassic Park became really known from the 1993 film adaptation by Steven Spielberg. It has been regarded as a landmark film for its use in computer-generated imagery. The franchise grew with more movie sequels, toys, rides, and of course, video games. There's been a Jurassic Park game made for all three of the motion pictures. For the first film alone, there's been five different games released. Today, we're looking at the first Jurassic Park games released for Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. Which one's better? Let's find out. Nintendo's graphics are so good. You might even say they're dino might. <laughs> nice. What? I like the part where you said dino. Yeah, that's a bit lame, isn't it? Ah! Oh! Just look at Super Nintendo's graphics. These colors, this wonderful world, this is Jurassic Park. Pictures of characters from the movie are dead on. This game also has two perspectives, the top view and the first person for buildings. Look at how great the dinosaurs look. We got them all, Triceratops to T-Rex to Velociraptors. I don't know, that doesn't look like you. What are you trying to say? We all look the same? What are you, racist? What? Me? Racist? I, I dated a raptor. This is cool. This is... Let's look at some Sega's graphics. <laughs> I'm racist. It's ridiculous. Sega's graphics are better, because they look like they're right out of the movie. Look at these 3D models of these dinosaurs, created using stop-motion photography. Levels look great, too, and have a distinct look from one another. Unlike Super Nintendo, where all the rooms look the same in some buildings, it's so easy to get lost. Speaking of the first person view, look how pixelated everything is. Super Nintendo really likes to show off its pixels, I guess. Well, Sega's graphics aren't perfect. Sure, you might have motion captured characters, but look how choppy they are at times. Yeah. Real smooth. You're just jealous, because your game looks ridiculous no matter what perspective you view it from. As Dr. Ian Malcolm once said, That is one big pile of shit. Graphics go to Sega. So what's the story? What's your name? Eugene Donson, but I don't like it, so you can call me Raptor. I don't know. I like that name. I'm gonna call you Donson. Oh, no, no. Please, don't use my name. It's embarrassing. Donson? Donson? We got Donson here! See? Nobody cares. Anyway, Sega's presentation is gonna make you cry. A Sega's presentation has it all. Since you can be two characters, you have two different stories being told. You got your different intros, you have dialogue between levels explaining each character's story, and then you have two different endings. I mean, come on! 
That's pretty good. What do you got? Uh... Well, Super Nintendo doesn't want to waste your time with an intro, because they want you to get right into playing the game. There's also no cutscene between levels, because there's not really levels in the game. There's screen prompts, which are sort of in-game cutscenes. Some of them contain dinosaur trivia, so you can be cool and impress your friends. And there's also an ending, which is cool. That's it? Yep. With little to no presentation on Super Nintendo, Sega wins. So, which one of your soundtracks captures John Williams' beautiful score? A score so majestic, so grand. So elegant. It truly captures the wonder of seeing real live dinosaurs. Brings you back to when you were a little kid, when a dinosaur seemed like the most amazing thing in the world. I don't have any music from the movie. Yeah, me neither. What? My favorite part of the movie, you two don't have it? Oh. Well, the music in Nintendo may not be from the movie, but it does fit well for this video game. When you wander around the park, there's some pretty good upbeat tunes. Really makes you feel like you're in the jungle. Then, when you're in the building, the music is switched up to some slow and creepy yet intense at the same time. Makes you feel like anything could go wrong at any time, until you hit an elevator. Nah, Sega's music's better. It's got some pretty upbeat tunes to go along with the action in the game. Music during the cutscenes is nice and ominous, letting you know that you're not out of danger yet. Sounds good in both games. It's gonna to be tough to decide who the winner is. No, it's not. You only play the music from one level. Listen to the rest of the levels. This is so boring. Did they even try? Seriously? This is the best they can do? This music is awful! Super Nintendo's music is so lame it just stops for no re- and it ruins the flow of the game! I mean, why did it stop? It clearly wasn't done yet. Even cutoff music sounds better than this. Super Nintendo even has voiceovers. Welcome to Jurassic Park. That's your only voiceover. Besides, I have a T-Rex that says Sega. T-Rex? Did, did you say you had a T-Rex? Uh-huh. Say it again. We have a T-Rex. Still, with music that was actually made with effort, sound goes to Nintendo. Mm, hey, Donson, you want to come back in the fighting here, man? Come on, fellas. I thought this was console wars, not console debate. You guys could use some blood, some action. Sega, eat his young so that your bloodline may flourish. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna show the gameplay. Like I said before, you can play as two different characters. You can either be Dr. Grant, getting off the island, or you can play as a raptor, getting away from Dr. Grant. That's right, you get to play as a raptor. The game plays like your basic platformer, different levels from the movie and the book. Both characters even play differently from one another. 
Grant uses various guns and the raptor attacks like a dinosaur. It's like two games in one. That's pretty good. Pretty good. What do you got, boy? Did you say Roy? No, I said boy. Oh, boy. Well, that makes a lot more sense. Roy. Well, I've got something completely different. Hold on to your butts. Gameplay is unique, especially for when this game came out, because it's not just one boring level after another. It's more like Grand Theft Auto's open world gameplay. You can go practically anywhere you want from the get-go. You play as Dr. Grant, killing dinos with various weapons. When you go into a building, the gameplay changes. It's no longer top view, but first person view like Doom. You spend time here killing dinosaurs and collecting items. Top view and first person view, two games in one. Whoa, that's impressive. Yep. Way ahead of its time. Indeed. Nintendo, the great innovators taking another leap forward. That's right. There can be no denying it. Best gameplay goes to Super Hold on a second. Do you save or use a password? Well, uh, actually, neither. You can't save or password? What is this, the Middle Ages? You mean you have to get through this two hour plus game in one sitting? That's absurd. Even Sega has passwords, and that game is half as long. Of course you need a password on Sega. The controls on this game are atrocious. The portions with Grant, the controls are bad, but playable. The portions with the Raptor, however, there's a problem with jumping. It's like rolling the dice. You can't always predict where you'll jump or land. The movement is so erratic, you end up like dying over and over again and again. Please, no save or password is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to terrible gameplay by SNES. Let's take a look. Top view isn't so bad. The only main problem is that there are these screen prompts which cover the screen, and this almost always happens when there's a dinosaur, so you get attacked. No, the main culprit of bad gameplay is the first person sections. This was when first person was new, so they hadn't worked out all the bugs yet. First off, the controls aren't very good. Look how choppy the movement is. It may not seem bad at first, but you do spend a lot of time in first person view, and it really gives you a headache. Another problem with the portion of this game is, there are no maps. No maps at all. It's so easy to have no idea where you're going. Do you know what that's like? You have to navigate through these buildings from memory. This is almost impossible since most of the rooms look exactly the same. So you end up spending more time in this place that gives you a headache. No way to save, no maps. Gameplay's gotta go to Sega. After playing it for both systems, it's pretty obvious that Jurassic Park for Sega Genesis is the better game. Graphics give characters and levels a look that better resembles the movie. It actually has presentation and it tells a story. While it may not have the best music or sound effects, it makes up for it with the gameplay, allowing you to be Grant or the Raptor. In its defense, if Super Nintendo had saving or maps in the first person, this decision wouldn't be as easy to make. It's amazing how the lack of two basic elements ruins a game. With better graphics, presentation, and gameplay, Best Jurassic Park goes to Sega. That was great, guys. Now that you're all done, I'm afraid I have to eat you. What? Dotson? What do you... Where'd you go? What was that about? You don't actually think he's gonna eat us, do you? I don't know. Well, we should leave just to be sure. No. We can't. Why not? Because we're being hunted. There. In the closet. Straight ahead. It's alright. Like hell it is. Run. Towards the door. I've got her. With what? This. Go. Now. <laughs> Oh, girl. <laughs> that 
forgot my keys and uh, ooh, right, the raptor. Sega. Looks like I get to bed to myself tonight. Get you to the hospital tomorrow. Council Wars. <laughs> 